Hello and welcome! I have gathered the requisite 15 gold coins. I'm going to use them to get 10 boxes in Gundle Battle Operation 2. Uh, there was some question on stream as to whether or not I would film this. Uh, because people wanted to see it. Uh, so we are, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to see what we get. We'll see if it's worth it. I know there were a lot of people asking, you know, is this game pay to win? And 10 loot boxes, something you can buy with actual money. Uh, if you don't mind spending the in for it. Uh, oh, that looks nice. Uh, we got a Gelgu. Okay. That's great. Um, I have not spent any money. I've ground these out over the course of five days. Which, oh, and we got a level four GM. Five days of grinding is not bad. In my opinion, because I only... I only technically had to, I say grind, I only had to, uh, level 4 beam save, okay. Only really had to do the daily missions to get the coins. All told, that took like, maybe 45 minutes a day. So, okay, Gundam Hammer, don't have a Gundam, but nice. Uh, could use that one day, maybe. Uh, it basically was roughly four hours worth of grinding. Okay, we got a level 4 Zuda. Yeah, so grinding up the coins was definitely worth it. Now, it is worth to say that this is only going to give me access to these suits. It's not going to make me good at them. Uh, level 2 in his program, nice. And I've seen lots of people with Gundams that just get destroyed because they don't know how to use them. It's also worth noting that this is during the special campaign where you can get 10 loot boxes for 15 instead of... Okay, nice. A heavy rifle. Instead of the usual 30 coins that you need. Um, 30 coins seems a bit excessive, but for all that I'm getting, I understand why they did that. Uh, that will equivalently, that will come down to around 10 days of grinding. Uh, which is roughly equivalent again to about uh, 10, no, 8 hours. Uh, if you get your coins every day. That's not too bad, again, for what you're getting. Uh, because yeah, some of this stuff is trash. Um, for one of the suits that I'm going to use. But I also got three suits out of this, which is pretty nice. I think one was guaranteed. I think the Gelgoot was guaranteed because of the event going on right now. But a level 4 GM cannon and a level 4 Zuda is really good. So it's definitely nothing to sneeze at. Uh, and as you can tell, I've been buying stuff with DP. Uh, because I'm almost out of DP now. But... Yeah, the event, it's for another two days. Uh, you got 30 coins, cost went up, probably to prevent you from just buying a bunch of these. Uh, but if you get 30 coins or 15 for your first one, uh, then you can get 10 of them right away, which is pretty nice. And it, like I said, it did not take me that long at all to get them. So now I have access to the Gelgoog, which I'm excited to try out, and the Zuda that I'm excited to try out. So, let's go for a cost 400. And let's try them out. Because the Zuda... Is, yeah, cost 400. I got the Zaku Sniper. It's really fun. Uh, it's a game changer for me when it comes to the way that I play. Uh, and it really has been with every suit. Which again is why I said that yes, I got three suits and that's cool. But that doesn't say that I'm going to know how to use them. Uh, because... I feel like when I play as any of these suits, I play very differently from the way that I'm looking. That's not what I meant to do. We're backing out of that. I want to do all cost 400 so that I can do the Zuda and the Gelgu. Just because you have access to a suit doesn't mean you're going to be good with it, obviously. But also, learning to use the suits is really good. It, it makes you a lot better with suits of the same type. I like, for instance, Zaku 1 is very similar to Zaku 2, so I have no problem with them, but the GM cannon was very different from, like, the Zaku 2. Uh, I will say, though, that I don't like how much grinding is required. Even if it's only 10 days to be able to get 10 pulls like that, 10 days is still a while. And, uh... It's just really weird to me that you have to grind like that at all. Switch this one. Like, I would much rather just get the parts from, from playing the way the first game did it. 
But at the same time, I understand why they've done what they've done. I'm still going to have fun with this game. And it is nice to know that I'm going to get suits this way. Zuda really can equip all that, huh? Nice. Did I ever equip anything to the... Yeah, I did. Okay. Did we equip the better program? Yeah. Drop this in there, and then we can equip the regular one, too. Nice. Okay. Also, I think we got kicked out again. But... It does... It does not feel great when you pull for a loot box and just get a part. So I think it's definitely better to wait until you have enough to get the 10. Just because, yeah, it's the same cost, but when you get 10 in a row, you have a better chance of getting something that won't just make you go, ugh, when you get it. So. Yeah, we can't equip any of that stuff there. But. Oh, and we can't equip the level 4 uh, cannon, the bazooka that we got. That's interesting. Or the Dom, I mean. We did not get... Yeah, we can't equip any of that stuff over here. So yeah, it's... Uh, definitely a little bit more balanced than you might think when it comes to the parts that you get. You can't just make a cheap unit super powerful Here we go. It's Gilgook time! I actually am really excited now, because, again, I wish you didn't have to get them through loot boxes. But now that I know that there is a path of progression that I can take that doesn't involve me just having to grind out DP, that every day I can just get three coins... And after 10 days, I can pull 10 loot boxes. It, it works. I like that. It's not perfect, but the game's free to play, so I'm not going to complain. I will say that I'm glad that I don't have the option with my American account to buy coins. Because it means that I'll never have to worry about my seemingly complete inability to prevent myself from spending money to buy things for free to play games. <laughs> and to a point, I mean, you probably should, because you want to support games you play a lot. But at the same time, like, I spend way too much on free play games. <sighs> Fire Emblem Heroes. That Gelgoog looks so cool! I'm a little disappointed that the event Gelgoog wasn't, like, a specific Gelgoog, like Char's Gelgoog, or, like, Enavogato's, or, uh, Dozel Zombie's Gelgoog or something. But still, really cool. Gogoog's great. Gogoog doesn't get enough love. Like, a lot of people just kind of forget about the Gogoog. Alright, we got the beam rifle, we got the twin beam Maginata, machine gun. Guys, I am here, even though my guild is right there. To conquer this point. Goku time! Yeah. Okay. I bet they're out of range. I wonder what the range is on this thing. Oh, fires pretty quickly, too. Not very accurate. So let's go in. Oh, the Goku's got a cool roll! Chow! Take this, Gundam!
Oh, I fell. I fell! I can't finish the Gundam off like this! Oh, it's dead anyway. I have a beam rifle, sir. Feels really good to have a beam rifle, too, I'm not gonna lie. I think it does obscene amounts of damage, too. As long as you don't overheat it. Good. Not letting this goof get away. I'm not the only one after him, either. Yeah, finish him! Yes! Behind us! Roll! Oh. We're good. We don't need to worry about that one. As long as we stay out of the radius. Man, it's a... Again, it's a very different game depending on which suit you're using. This is not a good scene down here. Whoo! I don't know if this is a fight we all want to be having. Trying to run away, eh, Gundam? There we go. Alright, now to turn and help the others fight. Ah, uh, it hit his shield, but it did some damage to the shield, I think. Ah, oh, it went through his legs! Got him! It is a whole different game, man. Feels good to be a Goku. I'm really surprised for, like... This game's free, you know? Like, it really surprises me how much work was put into making every suit feel unique. Because they really do. After this, we'll try out the Zuda and we'll see how it feels. But they really all feel very unique. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got them. Gotcha. Oh, it's time to go. Oh, this is probably a really bad idea. Time to go. Time to leave! Surprise Goku drop! Get over here! And let me hit you! So that my allies can finish you off. Finish it. Got him. All right, let's take B. Just hold out, Goku. Just hold out, buddy. Oh, imagine if you could paint suits in this game. Oh, there's an enemy right there. He's right there. Get in. Alright. Alright. Be 
in this. Who? Land. No. No. Go. No. Ah, they got us. They took B, but they got us. <sighs> and they're taking B back, too. Yeah. Let's go defuse that bomb. Don't see anybody watching it. Nope, somebody was watching it. Should've just gone to join the fight instead. We're still gonna win even if that bomb goes off. The bomb's not even gonna go off because we judged our time poorly, Trey. Whereas we could've been over here helping fight for the last 50 seconds. No! We could've got that kill! If we'd just been here, Trey! Ah. Uh. Yeah, the Gelu's really good. <laughs> the buffed sound effects still going in the background. <laughs> Man, that Gelu feels really good. Feels really good. Also, I got one of seven. Is it for using an event MS? Is that what that is? Man. Again, whole different game for each suit that you use. And I love that. Because it, it really gives more life to the game. And free-to-play games need that. So. I know a lot of people aren't happy with the way that the system works. Uh, with selecting suits and unlocking suits. But I'm really satisfied so far. Uh, we could have gone with a level 2 machine gun. But I think we're going to go for the level 4 bazooka on here. That leaves us with nothing for a, like, standard fire. But I think it's going to be okay. Also, we got... This. It's not as powerful as our regular rifle, right? I kind of want to try it, though. Oh, we got another uh, level fist, too. Two. And then I guess we can equip while we wait... Still just a level one beam spray gun. Who can use the beat saber? There we go. Just in case, you know. You never know. Never know when you might wind up using a much older version of a suit that you already have. <laughs> Here we go. Zoot is a red. Nice. Okay. Just drop my phone. All right. Zuda. I really like the Zuda's design. It's kind of a shame that it didn't get used more. All right. I could also be partly excited because after this, uh, I've got some more impressions videos to record, and I'm excited for those. But I'm really happy with what we got from those 10 poles. Right. So it feels pretty quick. It could just be the giant burst, like, burning on the back that makes it feel like that. We got the Heat Hawk, we got the Sturmfarst. Then we got the Bazooka. Sturmfarst. Uh, so I'm excited to try that out. I have it on the uh, Sniper. But I feel like this version will be better because it's the Zuda's version, which is attached to the shield. I don't know how true that is, but I feel like it will be. Hello. Ah, 
bad. Falling right there would have been real unfortunate. Oh! Knocked out of the air by a dom. At least I'm guessing it was a dom. No, it was a Saku. Alright. Up we go. Again! Oh no, it was the gun cannon probably that did it. Alright. How to move! Oh, it's just a double dash. That's cool. Let's try the Sturmfaust. Oh, I exploded before I could get there. That's unfortunate. That time. Fast as the Faust regenerate. It's almost. There. I bet that does some decent damage if it hits. Yeah, try harder than that to hit me. Except you just hit me. Behind us. Oh, the Faust hit him. Yeah, I mean, the Zuda feels like Zaku, uh, with a little bit different movement, but a lot faster, which is exactly what the Zuda's supposed to feel like. It's still based on the Zaku. Oh, it has the roll, too. Nice. Yeah. The Faust does pretty decent damage. Gun cannon. I'm going to crouch and reload. That gun cannon can't see me. We also really need to, re like, repair the legs. But I feel like this is not the time to be doing this. I feel like there's enemies everywhere right now. Oh yeah, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, they turned around. Somebody must have distracted them. Was it the bomb at their base that distracted them? Alright. Legs are in much better shape now. Time to go. Zuda feels really fast, but he uses that boost really quickly. I feel like it's a fair trade. Oh, they planted a bomb at our base, too. It's a problem, because they're in the lead right now. Let's go help out our allies over here. Number five is trying to keep the bomb at their base so that we can win. Even though that may not be enough even still. No, you go ahead. Get out of there. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and get out. We succeeded. Time to go. Woo! <laughs> Suckers! Oh, but they blew up ours, too. Ooh, there's more enemies here than I really want to deal with. Ooh, he dodged that. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. People fire again. It's gonna hit me. He's gonna come in for the melee. Roll! Oh, he's got backup still! Yeah, they got me. I like the Zuda. The Zuda feels really good to play with. Alright, Mr. Angel Blade 07 is gonna be going for our base now. Let's drop in at B and surprise him in 8 seconds. Oh, our base is already destroyed. He's going for B. And they took B. Okay. Or they're taking B. Stop them. 
Come on, Zuda. I don't know why the music just stopped. <laughs> uh oh. That's a Gundam. Ooh. We got backup though. We got backup boys. We ain't in this alone. He got back up too. They got more backup coming. I feel like all of us going in on these melee combos right here on top of each other is a bad idea. Pilot escaped. Not that there's really much you can do at this point, but you did escape. I'm not getting to the middle of that melee time there, but I will. Fire. Yep. We are in the lead, but we also are in the middle of a bombardment that just killed me. Oh, man. That's not great. Now we've lost almost all the points, but as long as nobody else dies in the next 15 seconds, we won. Zuda takes a long time to come back. Must be because it's level 4. Oh, somebody died. Alright guys, stop dying. <laughs> stop dying. Don't die guys, 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1. We won. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I mean, I like the Zuda a lot. I'm probably going to go back to the Gogu. But I like the Zuda a lot. You can toast to level 4, too, because it does quite a bit of damage. Nice. Nice. Still says 1 of 7, though. I wonder why. And then if I had to guess, my other quests are in space, since I did not get them for completing two matches on the ground. Uh, but we will check that. And then we will probably call this here today. I was requested when I was streaming the other day. Hey, show us a uh, tin pole. What's that look like? So, well, I'll, I'll record it when it comes up, you know. Why not? Let's see what they are. There's three matches and then two in space. Okay. So. Alright. But we'll be back later. And until next time. Remember to always enjoy the full spectrum that Gundam Battle Operation 2 has to offer. <laughs>